In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change the master volume of your entire project here in GarageBand. So, let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. And I do that through tips and tricks and tutorial videos just like this one. So if that's your bag, consider subscribing. And this one, we'll stop that. We're going to actually show you how we can adjust the master volume. So you'd know here in GarageBand on your iPhone or iPad that you can adjust the volume of each individual track by moving the volume slider there. But how do you adjust the overall volume? Now you might be thinking, I can just adjust this one, but look what that does. That just adjusts your overall iPad volume. And on the iPhone, you don't even have that slider. So that's not actually gonna help you. What you need to do is use the FX track to add in a makeshift master volume. So let's show you how to do that right now. So here's what we do. We tap on FX in the top left here. And what we need to do is actually record in some FX. So we're gonna actually hit the record button and we can just do whatever we want here. Let's just add in some FX, hit the record button and just do whatever there. And that has actually added an FX track here. We can tap the FX button for it to go away again, and we can now actually delete this FX. So now all we're left with is the blank FX track, and this is what we need to actually adjust our overall master volume. So what we're gonna do now is tap on the FX track, and if we hit play on this one, there's our regular volume of our track, sounding good. If we wanna, that didn't sound good. So what we now need to do is tap right here on our FX track and then tap on this mixer icon. Now it's in the top left here on your iPad. If you're on an iPhone, it may be in the top right. You may need to drop down to go into it on a smaller iPhone. And then you'll notice that we have our visual EQ here. And this is the key. If we tap on the visual EQ icon, we go into our visual EQ and here we can adjust, we can change our bass, we can make that up and down. We can adjust our mids, we can adjust our treble, but we'll double tap, double tap, double tap to bring those all back to median. The key thing here is this volume or this gain slider. So we'll double tap to bring this back to zero. Let's hit play and I'll show you what we can do with our master volume. So we can drive it up. to get more volume or we can bring it down to reduce the volume. So while we don't have a master volume track right here in GarageBand on iPhone or iPad, we do have this little hack that is going to give you a master volume or a gain slider here. And the beauty part is you can also then adjust the overall EQ. So you can adjust the bass, the mids and the treble. So let's say we wanted to cut the bass, we wanted to adjust the mids here and wanted to give it a little more treble. And then we actually wanted to decrease the overall volume by about five dB. We can do that and then hit play. And there you go, that has impacted our entire track. So that's a quick and easy way to get control of not only the volume, but the EQ of an entire track here in GarageBand. Now, why would this be useful? Well, let's just say that we drove these tracks all the way up here. Say we had them all way too loud. And if we hit play, everything's really cutting through. So instead of having to adjust every track, and we've only got four here, but say you had 32 tracks and you just wanted to reduce the volume, all we need to do is add this FX track, go into our mix here, go to our visual EQ, and we can actually drop it down. So if we wanted to reduce the overall volume down to say minus 10 dB, we can do that. And now our track is much quieter. And of course, you can do the exact same thing if your track is too quiet and you wanna increase the volume, you can slide that one up and increase the volume of your track. So a very simple hack here, a very simple way to increase the volume of your track here in GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad. There's two more videos linked down below that you can check out all about creating music on your iPhone or iPad in GarageBand. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon and I'll see you next time.